direction now from Amir Zahar. He's a big Sanders supporter. He says they are not going to fall in line with the party elite. Uh, the party elite, for want of a better term, uh, and are saying that th this was all started by Sanders supporters, not, not them. You say what? Well, I mean, look, we have been frustrated a lot by this process. We've been frustrated by the, the, the establishment of the Democratic Party kind of not listening as much to what we have to say. And so I think what you saw in Nevada was part of that frustration. There was no violence. There was nobody got hurt. This was yelling and screaming and protesting. It was a political event. These people were part of that political event. They weren't, you know, infiltrating it. And so I think what you're seeing is the, the, the real kind of emotion coming from those of us in the Sanders movement who want to make sure that our voices are heard and that the process is fair. You sound like you have your doubts. You sound like this process is not fair. Because the Hillary Clinton folks come back and say, well, she got three million more votes than Bernie Sanders. Uh, and uh, she has a big delegate lead. Fair is fair. She's leading. You guys got to move on. You say what? Well, I mean, look, we already have the superdelegate process, which is an unfair uh, a thing that goes on in the Democratic primary. I mean, it's an un incumbency product, uh, protection system. Um, you know, Hillary Clinton has been the presumptive Democratic nominee basically for eight years, right? And so you have had this whole machinery, the whole Democratic Party, the whole establishment, all of the major politicians have been falling in line with her for the last two or three years in her presidential campaign. Bernie Sanders comes along with a new message, a new generation, a, a, a new kind of like emotion, and this is frustrating them, and I don't think they know how to handle it. And, they, and I think they better figure it out or else they risk alienating all of us in November. All right, do you think it'll get to the point where you get to the convention because the Clinton forces say she leads by 300 uh, assigned delegates, not including the superdelegates, so that she's on her way, no matter what you guys do, and that for you to close that gap, Bernie Sanders would have to get 90 plus percent of the vote in the remaining, in the remaining states, and for that matter, hope and pray that the superdelegates would make a switch over to him. Probably unlikely, not impossible, but unlikely. Do you think then that you and your colleagues can can support Hillary Clinton? Well, first of all, I think in order for him to beat her in pledge delegates, he only has to get about 65% or so of the pledge delegates leading up to the convention. Then hopefully the superdelegates will realize it's possible. I mean, okay. look, and he's going to have a big win in Oregon tonight. He's going to win Kentucky, and then he could win California really big as well. And, and he's going to have all the momentum. I mean, there's a possibility that Hillary Clinton doesn't win any more states before the primary uh, season is over. And so hopefully at that point, the superdelegates will see that Bernie is the better candidate. He performs better against Donald Trump in November. He has this new movement bringing a lot of new people into the campaign. And hopefully from there we'll see that the Democratic Party is really paying attention to this kind of stuff. As Jeff Weaver said in an email last week, the campaign uh, manager for the Sanders campaign, the, the Democratic Party could be courting disaster. I mean, Hillary Clinton might be the only candidate left in the race that could possibly lose to Donald Trump. And Bernie Sanders is the last candidate in the race who is not under investigation by the FBI. He's not maligning whole groups of people like the Republican nominee. And he's not impersonating publicists on the telephone. He's the best candidate for the Democratic Party and for the country. But you could support Hillary Clinton if push came to shove. Uh, I think me personally, I'm not, you know, I'm kind of with Hillary Clinton the way Paul Ryan kind of is with Donald Trump. You know, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Um, maybe some of us will get there. Yeah. Me personally, I'm not there. And I think that's a sentiment among a large swath of uh, Sanders supporters. You know, that's a very good analogy. In there. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot.